So let's discuss uh, these four modules in a little bit more detail. Okay, so our four modules are titled uh, Two Dimensional Incompressible Inviscid Aerodynamics for Module 1 and uh, Viscous Aerodynamics for Module 2, Compressible Aerodynamics for Module 3, and uh, Three Dimensional Aerodynamics for Module 4. So I'm going to discuss uh, what uh, uh, all of this means. Uh, uh, inviscid, what does inviscid mean? Uh, we're going to be discussing what uh, incompressible means, right? And uh, we're going to be also discussing what uh, two-dimensional means. So let's first uh, uh, talk about inviscid. So although this set of uh, assumptions, we are assuming the flow is, uh, does not have any viscosity, is incompressible, is strictly two-dimensional, that, that seems pretty restrictive. But what you are going to find out is that uh, what the concepts and the analytical tools, the ways of thinking you obtain by looking at this very much simplified set of uh, uh, assumptions is extremely illuminating throughout the, every aspect of aerodynamics. In particular, we are going to be basically looking at one central question is why pretty much why airplanes can fly, or why does an airfoil generate lift? Okay, so the reason, right, the analytical tools that is going to give you what kind of a lift an airfoil has, is going to permeate throughout the entire course. It's going to be applicable when you look at viscous flows, it's applicable when you look at compressible flows, it's going to be applicable when you look at the three-dimensional flows. So this is what we are going to be focusing on for module one, is to look at the dynamics of the flow that gives you lift.